Welcome back to IO. I'm your host for today, Maddie, and today we're going to be getting to the bottom of the Britney Spears divorce rumors, a Dacre Montgomery catfish who has totally ruined a woman's life, and recently there's been some new Sandra Bullock Oscar drama. I'm your host for today, Maddie. Let's get into some internet news. I know there are a lot of Britney Spears fans out there who are not surprised at all to hear that the singer and her husband, Sam Ascari, have separated. According to TMZ, the split comes after a major argument that involves allegations of cheating. Sources revealed that about a a week ago, Ascari confronted Spears over rumors that she stepped out on him. Now, when it comes to a source with direct knowledge telling TMZ, we must keep in mind that these rumors might have no basis in fact at all. That being said, a lot of fans were predicting, dare I say hoping, that their marriage wouldn't last. Apparently, Sam believed that Spears had been unfaithful, which led to a huge fight. The source also claimed that Sam had moved out of their shared home and is now living in a place of his own, and as they put it, it's only a matter of time before Sam files for divorce. Since Britney was freed from her conservatorship, fans have only become more and more concerned for her well-being, and one of the biggest factors raising eyebrows was her new husband, Sam Ascari. He's a personal trainer as well as trying to become an actor, which is not helping with the fan-appointed Gold Digger label. Apparently, there has been deep trouble within their marriage for months, as slowly Ascari started sleeping at the house less and less. It's also been rumored that Spears had gotten physical with him in their fights that apparently include frequent screaming matches. Reportedly, Spears has a prenup that protects her assets, but one insider said the likely end to their marriage will be a check from Britney to Sam that will at least settle things financially. If you have been following along with Britney's journey following her conservatorship, as I said earlier, people have been seeing this coming. At times in the last few years, Spears' behavior has been a bit unpredictable, and apparently Sam is over it. With that being said, Spears isn't just going to come out of a 13 year long conservatorship and be okay. I would imagine the singer needs time to do some therapy and get used to to having her freedom back. Over a decade of being treated terribly by her family, without proper mental health help or control over anything, including her own money, is going to take some time to recover from. Ascari has publicly defended Britney from the press, but privately, apparently he's frustrated. Clearly, he wasn't ready to help her do what she needed to do when it came to her getting better. Sam and Britney started dating back in 2016 when he got a gig in her music video for her song Slumber Party, in which he played her love interest. He also is a personal trainer and aspiring actor actor who a lot of people felt like was just dating the pop star to boost his career. Ascari even admitted in an interview that within the acting world, he didn't even begin to be noticed until Britney gave him, quote, this amazing platform. Also said in an interview, Ascari talked about the door she had opened for him more affectionately than Spears herself. Following the video, the couple was practically inseparable. Throughout the Free Britney movement, Ascari often showed his support for the singer's fans, and she shared plans of marrying him and having children together. He even posted a photo of himself in a Free Britney t-shirt, which he posted to Instagram. In 2021, she was overjoyed when Sam proposed, sharing photos and videos to her social media of her ring and the pair together. Eventually, the pair tied the knot in a small private ceremony at their Thousand Oaks home, but this in itself had fans suspicious and questioning their marriage since. The whole wedding was super odd and a little suspicious when it came to who was there and what footage from it was posted online. Regardless, the pair did seem happy, and to be fair, her fans can take things a little far when it comes to the singer. With everything that has been said, no divorce documents have been filed just yet, but if it does happen sooner than later, there will be no surprise. Neither Spears nor Ascari have commented on these particular rumors yet. Let me hear your thoughts on these relationship rumors in the comments below. Do you think they're headed for divorce, or is it all just talk? Next up, we have a Stranger Things fan whose life totally changed after sending a lot of money to one of the stars of the series. Not only that, but she even divorced her husband, with her reason being that the actor told her so. Michaela, who is a single mother from Kentucky, claims to have been catfish and scammed out of $10,000 by a person who claimed to be Dacre Montgomery, best known for playing the heartthrob slash villain Billy Hargrove in the popular Netflix series. Michaela shared her wild experience on the Catfish YouTube channel, explaining that the two met on an online forum and chatted for a year before he asked her to be his girlfriend. At the time, she was still married but claimed that her relationship with her husband was toxic. For a little background, the actor has been dating model Liv Pollock since 2017, but that info didn't seem to stop Michaela from thinking he was the real deal. Michaela revealed that the imposter told her that he and Pollock were on the verge of a split because of her controlling behavior. The fake Dacre told Michaela to choose between her husband and him. As we all know now, she ditched her husband, and by the sound of things, it wasn't that hard of a decision for her. He also apparently sent her poems that mirrored Montgomery's writing style in the actor's DKMH Poems, a 2020 poetry collection. The kicker was when he also told her that he was unable to access any of his bank accounts, explaining that Liv had control over all of them, so 
Michaela actually sent him $10,000 of gift cards, crypto, and cash through payment apps over time. If someone, number one, can't access their bank accounts, red flag. That's something to take up with your bank, not your online girlfriend. And two, if anyone ever needs you to send them money through gift cards or crypto or anything else, run away. Unfortunately, a lot of people had been catfished in the past, and I'm sure more people will continue to be in the future. Michaela said, if you're someone like me, you're afraid of abandonment, and you're a real big people pleaser, and you're very codependent, these scammers, they just kind of come in and leech off of that. For those unaware, this type of thing is often referred to as a romance scam, finding someone emotionally vulnerable, gaining their trust, and then getting them to send money through unconventional ways, like gift cards, often to hide a paper trail. On the Catfished YouTube series, Michaela said, we hit it off, but of course I'm suspicious from the get-go, until he starts doing things that make me believe that he is who he is. Apparently, she became convinced the scammer was Montgomery after he told her to tune into Stranger Things Season 4, specifically the episode titled Dear Billy, that included the return of his character the night before the episode aired. Michaela said, and he showed up in that episode, and I was like, well, who else would have known that? Reps for the actor have yet to comment, but unfortunately for Michaela, the whole thing ended up being too good to be true after all. Let me hear your thoughts on this situation in the comments below. And for our last story today, we have some drama surrounding Sandra Bullock and the 2009 film The Blind Side, based on a true story in which she won the Oscar for Best Actress. Quentin Aaron wants the world to leave the actress out of the ongoing legal drama between Michael Ower and the Tui family. Aaron, who played Ower in the movie, spoke about his co-star, who played Lee and Tui in the movie, about the NFL star and the family. Ower filed a lawsuit on Monday against the Tuis, explaining that they tricked him into a conservatorship when he turned 18. Now, Aaron is fighting back against those calling for Bullock to return her Oscar in the middle of the allegations against the family and their alleged treatment of Ower. Personally, I don't know what her acting in the movie has to do with their real life problems or what giving it back would accomplish, but to me it sounds like he is bigger fish to fry than Bullock's Oscar. Aaron told TMZ Sports, saying stuff like she needs to relinquish her title doesn't make any sense. She gave a brilliant performance and that shouldn't be tarnished for something that had nothing to do with her. The actor then continued on sharing, I really feel like we live in a society today where people are so hell bent on pointing blame on people. To make a statement like that doesn't make any sense. Sandra Bullock didn't have anything to do with the real story. I think that people just need to chill out, relax, and let the families involved handle whatever is going on. I mean, he does make a good point. Regardless of what's happening with the real people in 2023, it doesn't really change how good of an acting job she did portraying the character in 2009. As for his own reaction to the news of Ower's lawsuit against the Tui family, Aaron admitted that he doesn't know what to think of these allegations. He said, I didn't know what to think. It's news to me, unfortunately, it's not a good turn of events. This movie inspired so many people, changed people's lives, mine included. I feel for everyone involved. I'm not taking sides. I love Michael. I love the Tui family. Aaron also noted that he hasn't been in communication with the family since the movie came out. He also shared that he didn't meet Michael until a few years after the movie was released. I think Aaron said it best when he said, I just think it's between them. As unfortunate as it is, I offer up my support and prayers for all parties involved. I just hope that everything works out for the best. Ower's story was first documented in Michael Lewis's 2006 best-selling book, The Blind Side. In his lawsuit, he claims the Tui family made millions off his name after the film starring Sandra Bullock and Aaron earned more than $300 million at the box office. The book and film are centered around the family taking in Ower and helping transform his life on and off the football field. An offensive tackle who played for the Ole Miss and later the Baltimore Ravens also claimed that the Tui family never officially adopted him and instead tricked him into signing paperwork that locked him into a conservatorship which gave them legal authority to make business decisions in his name. He also claims in the petition that he only learned in February that the documents he was asked to sign by the Tuies, under the belief that it was part of the adoption process, were actually conservatorship papers that would strip away his legal rights. The 14-page petition filed in Shelby County, Tennessee, alleges that the Tuies used their power as conservators to negotiate a deal with 20th Century Fox that paid them and their biological children, Collins and Sean Jr., millions of dollars in royalties from the blind side. The petition alleges that all four members of the Tuie family were paid $225,000 for the film, plus $2.5 
25% of the film's proceeds. The conservatorship was granted until Ower reached the age of 25 or until the court terminated the order, but Ower's petition claims that the arrangement never ended up being terminated. The father, Sean Tui, has called Ower's allegations insulting and shared that the family is devastated. He added that he is of course open to ending the conservatorship if that's Ower's wish. In a statement to ET, the family's attorney, Marty Singer, claimed that Ower allegedly threatened the family prior to filing his petition in court that if they didn't hand over an eight-figure check, he would plant a negative story about them in the press. The Tuies denied tricking Ower into a conservatorship, and any claims that they went behind his back to score a movie deal is just not true. In a lengthy statement, Singer told ET the notion that the couple worth hundreds of millions of dollars would knive to withhold a few thousand dollars in profit participation payments from anyone, let alone from someone they loved as a son, defies belief. As for Bullock, she's not yet commented on the controversy, as the 59-year-old actress currently has more pressing issues on her plate as she's grieving the tragic death of her longtime partner, Brian Randall, who died earlier this month after a private three-year battle with ALS. Do you remember watching The Blind Side? Leave all your thoughts on this drama in the comments below. Should Bullock give her Oscar back? Is that we're just making the two ways look bad? That is all for the internet news today. I've been your host, Maddie, and thank you for watching IO.